switch gears just a second here. Yeah. We're back on land over to the Disneyland Resort. Disneyland performers vote to unionize certified by federal labor officials. This actually took place a little while ago. The 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 cast and crew that falls under this this uh, labor umbrella right here did vote to unionize. However, right after that happened, we got wind of some rumored closures that were happening to entertainment yeah. acts that mm -hmm. this union was a part of. So we have uh, Club Pixar here at Disney California Adventure abruptly closing two months early. Rumor in the wake of cast member unionization that was later that confirmed. Doctor Strange thing closed. Yeah, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Strange. They just announced that June 30th was the last date right here. I wanted to bring this this story up because I think it's an important one. Marty, I know you got the de details and info again. You can be careful yeah. with how you with how you relay it. What's sure. going on here? So uh, I will say that I know people that were informed uh, months ago in other unions to if asked how it's the union is working for them to maybe not say it's great or to discourage a new union from being made because there were fears at that time, six months ago ish, eight months ago, that their jobs could be cut if another union was formed or their hours might be cut. Things mm -hmm. like shows in the Hi uh, Hyperion, for example, might you know, not it's come back to happen. Yeah. It, and, 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 and the Hyperion the Theater is a 2000 seat venue in Disney California Adventure. Just to, just to kind of, you know, map and, out here and for the, it was for the it was 100% supposed to come back after Halloween Oogie Boogie, which is what they use the, the, the queue for the outside of that area. They shut it down because the queue was used as a treat trail and they shut the park down a little bit earlier to allow for Oogie Boogie and there used to, they used to run like three shows. Well, the third show wasn't going to be run on those days and the union refused to let the actors, um, CMs take a pay cut for, for not having that third show. So the idea was like at that point, they can't like, they sat there and said, okay, we're just canceling Rogers. The idea was it was supposed to come back though. And yeah. they were sitting there using things like this as a as a, a leverage on one side to turn against another side on on an upcoming union so of course disney isn't going to sit there as soon as like a group unionizes they're not going to sit there and cut the people from the union that unionized like sure. the, the group that you like that would right. that would like the only saving grace right now is there is is everybody saying oh well it's not the same union yeah, well, right. you know what? Disney's smarter than that. I don't know if you'll lead to this, Dre, what was uh, suggested or, or leaked an hour or so before you went on, but mm. there's even more. There's even more cuts that are oh, that are coming. No. Uh, so who has the story? I will put it up. Um, man, Disney Today, maybe. But they're talking about um, the next set of series of cuts is going to be all of Avenger Campus shows. The, the the show that they run so, so all of those and man there were a couple others oh um, no okay, off the top of my head right here okay so this is coming from uh walt disney world news today disneyland news today I, I did this on the video as well a rumor more design resort entertainment cuts include five and dime yeah. no yeah five and dime all mm -hmm. avengers campus shows and green army man this is and again travesty. this is oh. disney's disney's line with the pixar club was due to fan review. Who doesn't like Five and Dime? This isn't fan review stuff. No, right? no, no. Who doesn't like the army men running ex around? Excuse me, sir, that's we're doing BS. a poll. Do you want more entertainment or less for your exorbitant exactly. content? Exactly. Get in the exactly. Lou. See, exactly, Lou. see, this is the problem I have with Disney, though. And this is what me and, and my friend Theme Park Casual talk about you know, all the time. When it comes to entertainment, Disney used to be amazing. Now, Disney's yes. not so great at entertainment. And they're getting worse at it because you got Knott's Berry Farm. And I know we're talking about the West Coast over here. And Marty, you can attest this too. But they have not Summer Nights. That's They're um, adding it. And they've got, you know, the Ghost Town Alive. They're making 
as much entertainment and as much fun as possible at their park where Disney is now cutting, cutting, cutting. Now I, I get it. You know, I used to, you know, work as a union employee. I used to work, you know, in a corporate, you know, environment with union employees. So I get what Disney's doing, what Marty's talking about. I've seen it happen before too. It's really unfortunate, you know, because most companies don't want to go, you know, union. And so it's a burden to the company. And so the company has to make other cuts. They're not going to talk about those cuts, but you'll start seeing these things like what you just showed on the article and whatnot. And we start seeing the things that start happening and, and you're like, well, why are they doing that? You but know? let's also remember that money is what is known as fungible. In other words, if I have to spend on a performer, I might not spend on maintenance on a light pole that falls down and hurts a guest or whatever. I'm just saying if they don't accept the bare minimum standards that they have to spend to be in business, but say, I'm the new guy who just got promoted and I have to prove to my boss he did a good thing. So I'm going to wait to find a way to cut 35 cents here and 22 cents there and a buck and a quarter over here. And sooner or later, it all adds up. Well, what it all adds up to is you're giving the customer a less happy, a less safe, a less secure, a less professional environment to have fun in. And if they go and they experience that, if Two of these crazy Yahoo people that inhabit our world nowadays decide to pick off a fight in the middle of Main Street, and it takes 15 minutes for security to get there instead of five because mm -hmm. we're hiring 10 less security guards than we used to. All the fans who are affected by that may not come back as soon next time. May yeah, not when they're getting ready and they're saying, gee, should we take the kids to Disneyland again? And they look at what it's going to cost, and they have that memory of that bad experience whether it's a bad experience of no show or less clean restrooms or whatever it is, all those little tiny micro decisions that people make add up. And Absolutely. You go, and that's why their reputation originally was so sterling as being clean and safe and wholesome compared to other amusements out there. So, mm -hmm. so you can only also throw that away once. You can't get it back with those people. They, they're, they're gone. They're out of there. Hang on, Bob. Just one second. Let me just recap for for the for the audience here what's been going on because you know we, we've covered a lot of ground. I just want to make sure that people have uh, cut along right here. This was Rogers the musical. It premiered last year in the Hyperion Theater. Uh, again, I think it was like a uh, one thousand nine hundred eighty five seats in the in the Hyperion Theater. Played three times a day, so a huge capacity. Uh, suck for the actual park itself, but but a, a Broadway musical style production right here. Very very crucial for the entire uh, for the, the entire Disneyland Resort that they have a venue like this, playing shows like this. This uh, what it only played for the summer. It never came back. That's what Marty was going over right here. We have a series of shows that have been canceled already, um, and it it supposedly. I mean, look, we're we're making inferences, but we can see the writing here when you're when you're talking about a unionization effort and then the cancellation of all of these shows. Uh, I was gonna say that this Hyperion Theater is a big chunk of this park right here. You can actually see you that bet. in the lower right right there. Mm -hmm. Like I said, huge venue. They they paid gobs of money to restore it, not once, but twice. Uh, most recently with Rogers the Musical right here because it was a, a venue that was offline for years during the pandemic era. You can see if, if this union effort goes through, <laughs> well, that's a large bit of land. Like, hello there, Vash Sky here, Nending. I want to go ahead and make this point and uh, ensure that it was illustrated properly. This land specifically is the land that is currently rumored to be replaced by the Avatar expansion that Bob Iger has been talking about on earnings calls. You can see right here how attractive that space that the Hyperion currently takes up would be towards Imagineers uh, who want to make this a huge footprint for this park that is also uh, very constrained as it stands right now. But if this union effort does go through, I mean, at least in my opinion, as I'm looking at it right now, I don't think there's a future for the Hyperion Theater going forward, which would be a massive blow to the entire Disneyland Resort and how it operates. This is a huge capacity theater when you have three or four performances a day. I mean, we're talking on the range of anywhere between six to eight thousand people per day who are either you know in line waiting for the show or actually watching the show itself you're taking those people off the streets uh it's it's huge when it comes to a value proposition for a guest again 
whether or not they're actually going to go with the park hopper option is all on whether or not there is a show in the Hyperion Theater, quite frankly. And just to kind of illustrate how much entertainment that we've lost over the last 10 years, I'm going to read you down the list here and have some corresponding images that go along with this. Minnie's Fly Girls, Billy Hill and the Hillbillies, Mickey and the Magical Map, uh, Aladdin at the Hyperion, Frozen at the Hyperion, and Rogers the Musical at the Hyperion. The News News Show in Buena Vista Street, Swing Dancing in Disneyland, Bands at the Tomorrowland Terrace, Paint the Night, Nighttime Parade, all of these things over the last 10 years have been cut from Disneyland Resort Entertainment already to think that we might incur even more because of this union effort. It's very discouraging for a regular visitor to the resort to see. But now back to the video. They were going to build one of these behind Main Street in Florida. Yep. Yep. And decided not to, not because it's not a good idea, but because the inherent expenses made it a a, a less attractive proposition. And That's I'm not knocking with anybody the... in those unions. They deserve it, even more than money. It's about working conditions. When we heard about people dressing in something called the dungeon and about the woman who got her eyes dyed by the contact lenses and right. all these from other, the, you know, uh, from the you're, you're talking to a guy who was an officer with a major union and representative of two others. And I understand how this stuff works and I've negotiated a lot of big contracts and mm. there's money and benefits, but then there's also what's called working conditions, right. which in some cases can be an even bigger deal than the money. Strange as that might sound. Mm -hmm. Because so, at least I'll tell you something. If you're in one of these shows in in California, mm -hmm. first of all, you have other options as far as a yeah. bigger theater community and certainly oh, yes. the movie and TV industry. And secondly, you're more likely to be seen, and therefore yes. the benefit of being there is more than just the job itself, as opposed to being, you know, the star of some little show like this at Disney World, which is that's, that's relegated to this this unfairly or not theme park performers as opposed to just stage performer or potential this, movie performer so uh, and in the wake of that we're now seeing or we're hearing rumors of even more cuts five and dime a lot of the marvel avengers campus shows that are brand new by the way relatively speaking anyway yeah with the opening yeah. of that of that land this is heartbreaking that was a highlight from our live stream on that park place podcast it's online where the full stream can be found at the link in the description but what were your thoughts on this fascinating topic? Please let us know in the comments below. Like this video if you did like this video. Share us out as it helps us out tremendously against the YouTube algorithm. And thank you so much for watching. T3, PO. Please comment, like, and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to That Park Place Podcasts Online. Your source for exclusive content and highlights from WDW Pro, The Pro Show, and That Park Place. For all the news that should be fun.